you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet has an original point of view. And I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. It's a simple message, and it comes from the heart. Oh, believe in yourself, for that's the place to start. Start and I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Every day when you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet has an original point of view. And I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day to learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. It's a simple message and it comes from the heart. Oh, believe in yourself, for that's the place to start. Start and I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Hello. Let's see if it needs to be reduced in volume. All right, that might be okay. Um, hello, welcome to a new game. Um, this is Battle Brothers, as the title says. Uh, this was gifted to me by Daimon. So thank you very much to Daimon. Um, this game is a tactical, you know, squad. Hi, Daimon, that is you! <laughs> my, uh, my viewers list is not updating, so it doesn't have you in the list. That was uh, <laughs> out of nowhere. Um, uh, yeah, so this is like a, you know, tactical squad kind of game. Medieval combat, obviously, you can see these, these strapping lads here. Some examples of our characters, I assume. Um, I don't really know how the game actually works, so, in terms of like the campaign structure, so, okay. Interesting. A green skin invasion. I don't, I don't like that. Undead Scourge. Okay, I mean, like, I guess we should keep it on random, but I, I definitely like... Uh, I, I like war better than the other two, I think. But uh, permanent destruction. So these towns and castles can be permanently destroyed. Huh. Okay. Having the world go down in flames is one of the many ways you can lose your campaign. Alright. Map seed is, is fine. I don't know of any map seats. So we get some... Ooh. 
So we get our, like, our uh, standard, I guess what you'd call this. Um, interesting. Oh, uh, what? What is going on there? There's a skull on top of that one, though. That's, you know, that's, uh, that's nice. Very, uh, you know, simplistic. Straightforward. Well, that's... Uh, wow. Hmm. Hmm. I, I don't know about that one. Dragon, sure. These are very colorful. Uh, okay. Oh, that's, that's interesting, because then it ideally matches the pull on the... the flag matches with the actual pole. Uh, some weird snake stuff or something, like a Celtic knot kind of thing. Boar's head. Uh, okay, that's weird. Bear. Uh, like a griffin. A minimalistic raven design, very classy. Oh, and a skull-faced mermaid with her boobs out. <laughs> yep. Uh, they they got ones for all tastes. Uh, the crown with swords. Okay. Just a sun, but it's like blood drenched. Axes. Cowbirds or whatever. Arrows and a tree. That's that's nice, but I don't think we're gonna be this this implies like like, you know, the Rangers or something. Like we're gonna we're gonna defend the earth, and I don't think that's happening. Uh that's hilarious. This is just like the Teutonics standard, which we don't want. I guess this is a little flares, but whoa, death. Kind of. What? What is this? Is this death. Oh, it's death sickle. Oh, this is the. I thought he was sitting on this. Like this is a chair or a bench, and then this is just a random like moon shape here. No, obviously that's the sickle in his hand. You're not going to get more you than a dead king. I know. I know. I gotta look at all of them. Uh, okay. Alright, we're back to the beginning. I do like the Headless King. Let's see, where was the Headless King? Yeah, there we go. The name of your mercenary company. God, what are we going to call our mercenary company? I didn't, I didn't think about this. I didn't know this was a thing I had to think about. Um. Something, something, wolves. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> oh, God. Um... Fuck. <laughs> I mean, I actually... Okay. I copy and paste? Here's a question. And therefore, can I name my mercenary company? Oh, does it... What did it do? Oh, it did work. Just 
copied some extra text. The Dread Wolves? Oh, oh. Diamond. That's mean. Alright, there we go. Uh, there's obviously the best mercenary company name. Uh, okay. Economic difficulty. Well, this is interesting. Contracts will pay more. You'll be able to carry more resources at once. I, well, it's because you said the something something wolves, and my thought immediately was of diamond dogs. Um, and I was like, oh. Yeah. But I don't think diamond dogs is actually a good name. But MSF is a great name. Face fewer and less challenging opponents. I'm shooting for them. Okay. I mean, I feel like we can go to veteran, hopefully. Recommended for new players. Uh, we might start with high starting funds. Should we go Iron Man? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this. I mean, this is going to be a disaster if we go Iron Man, but is it going to be an entertaining disaster? That's the question. Recommended for the best experience once you've learned the game. I don't know that we need to learn the game first. <laughs> But we'll leave it on high starting funds. Heavy armor offers great protection, but also slows down the wear and makes him tire more quickly. Okay. Sure. What is that? It's not a glaive. It's not a glaive. That's, uh. I'm trying to remember all my pole arms. Which one has the little hook on it? Like a bill? Or like a Beck to Corbin? Because there's also the spike. I guess these are all kind of... A lot of them are names applied post hoc by historians or medievalists to categorize weapons that were very idiosyncratic. So... The last battle. Oh man, we're in. We're starting in book seven of Narnia. It all went wrong. Two days ago, the company was hired to track down Hoggart the Weasel and his band of raiders, but it was them who found you first. An ambush. Some jokes about horses cut short by an arrow to the throat. Arrows shooting in from everywhere and nowhere. Men holler and scream. A great volume before death. As the hail subsides, you draw your weapon with the rest of the men, only to collapse to your knees. An arrow has punctured your side. You shout in pain. A harried glance sees the men charge without you to make a valiant last stand. Met in force, as steel clashes with steel. Well, our Iron Man didn't last very long. You meet eyes with the captain. A last nod before his throat is cut. You're left in command now, what few men remain. Trembling in pain, you lean on your sword with all the will you could muster. Oh, and with all the will we can muster, slowly rise again. To the end! War of Mercenaries. Uh, I'm not actually about fighting to the end. I think our... Fuck. Ah. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. I've seen the art style before, but actually seeing it animated makes this really funny. Um, oh well, we don't get to see their bodies. So, is there no tutorial? I know there's tutorial videos on the the main menu, but I, I didn't want to watch tutorial videos because I hate tutorial videos. Yeah. This is 
batter. It's one eye. It's killed one eye. Captain Baronhard. Good thug is confident. Okay, there's a morale system. That's good. Alright, so whose turn is it? Hoggard the Weasel. Who's that? What's that guy? So this is Brigand Thug, Brigand Thug. Okay, so we have our guys Ferdinand the Wolf, Magnus. Who's the one who's wounded? Okay. Um, yeah, we don't care about the corpses, apparently. Uh, shoot Bolt. So he has a little crossbow. He... In the inventory. Yeah, he has a crossbow, some bolts. He does technically have a knife, but not made for combat. We once saw him shoot the moon. Okay, he's irrational. He's superstitious. And he's dissatisfied. stats. So he has no head armor. He does have a rugged surcoat. Ooh, perks. Wow, okay. Well, we don't care about that right now. He has action points. Okay. On the armor and head armor. Fatigue. Their morale. He's irrational and superstitious. To be fair, that does sound like the sort of person who tried to shoot the moon. That's true. Resolve. Okay. So this is actually a lot like like original XCOM kind of. Obviously, with primarily melee though. Initiative. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, it's reduced by current fatigue and penalties to fatigue. Max fatigue, such so heavy armor. That makes sense. Uh, melee skill, range skill. Well, he's actually got a better melee skill. Unless these stars mean something. But he doesn't have a good melee weapon, so he also has terrible melee defense. And range defense for that matter. Damage, effectiveness against armor, chance to hit the head. Vision, okay. So this is a good look at these guys. Ferdinand the wolf, by the spear. But he's at least got some head armor. He's got a number of different abilities. He is loyal. Yeah, these mean, like, gotta mean, like, primary stats or something, like the ones that increase, probably. Are more likely to increase on levels or something. He has an axe. Okay. He has iron lungs. Oh, okay. Sure. Brooding and at times suicidal. Jesus. Okay. Man is not a murderer, but he would have made a fine one. <laughs> Okay. He has a proclivity towards weapons that can make a calamitous ruin out of a man's body. Yeah, okay. Uh, so Whittled is going to shoot someone. Double grip. Confident. 
Uh, do we know what they're like? Well, he has no head armor. This guy's wavering. So we don't know what, like, our... Oh, okay, 12% chance to hit, 54% chance to hit. Fly distance of 5, line of fire block. Okay, so we're going to hit this guy. Unless we want to move. I take 7... To... Okay, so I think we do want to do that. Alright. Oh, wait, no, it takes two. Oh, oh no, it only takes... Why does it only take one? Okay, it's two APD to use. I didn't like it. Okay, I read this. Inflicts 20, 30 to 5, 50 damage to points of which 0 to 25 can ignore armor. Inflicts 80 to 30 damage to armor. Six tiles. Plus 50% chance to hit, minus 3% for tile distance. Has 10 bolts left. Okay. So we reload. Oh, wait, what? How did, I thought reload was. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't hover over it. I, okay, so this is like you can it's a shortcut as one, and then that was a shortcut two, and I didn't hover over it. So. Okay, well, that's what we would have wanted him to do anyway. I just didn't realize he was going to take everything else. Um, okay, I'm going to enter. Oh, okay, that guy's running away because he's got his big ol' fucking... Uh, he's got a bow. Um, I'm going to go in here. So I did mess with these before I looked at these. Um, I will auto end turns now because I didn't realize it was going to be individual initiative. That makes more sense. I mean, we probably always show hit point bars, right? Damn you, weasel. Yeah. So Magnus here can do a slow overhead attack. Always hits both head and body. Yeah. Round swing, which can hit multiple targets. Split shield. Wait. What ha wait, what happened? When we shot him, did we miss? Can I see uh like our, our combat log? Oh yeah, it's up here. Oh, we did miss. We only had a fifty four percent chance. Alright. So it's roll on it's a D one hundred roll under. All right, didn't realize we missed. Okay. So we want to move like here. Plus two AP. All right, that's fine. We could move here. That also costs two AP. Because we have this whirlwind. Oh, it's not going to give me my... Uh, I really wanted it to give me my hit percentages before I actually get there. Because I don't know how good the world, what the chance of the world would actually is. But I'm guessing we don't want a world, but I'm guessing we want to go to here. Wait, what? Oh, shh. Nikes. Each. Okay, I thought it was telling me it would take two to go here. No, it's saying it takes two to go each step. Oh, that's. Annoying. Well, then we can't make an attack after this. That's really annoying. I mean, there's just no way. Well, then we... What? We, we move up here? Could do it. Prepare to immediately attack any opponent that moves us. Move to melee range. Yeah, Overwatch. Okay. Target will receive half the damage of a normal thrust attack. Well, that's interesting. Why only half the damage? No, 
utilize these shield wall next to each other to further increase their protection by overlapping their shields. Okay. But it only gives it to to us, right? Yeah. So that's not that useful. So I think we go here. And then do spear wall. Yep. Good. Alright, so you... have a decent chance to hit both of them. Looks like we want to shoot at this guy. Yeah, we got him. Uh, we hit him. I hit the surcoat for 27 damage. We hit the body for 17 damage. And he suffered an injured soldier and he's wavering. Yeah, the reason I decided to shoot him over this guy is because this guy has less morale. Uh, oh, I don't know what the effects of these are. Ah, cost 7 AP, reload. Okay. Magnus now. So if we go here... So we could try this. I just don't know what the chance to hit is. So this is 59, okay. So yeah, I don't think we want to do a whirlwind. I think we want to go for this. How much damage should we do? 17. So a lot of damage. Or, I mean, not that much damage, and so he doesn't have that much HP total. So this should probably just kill him. <laughs> yep, yeah, I think that's dead. I guess we could have tried to kill this guy instead, and then maybe could have broken this guy. Might have run away, but... So, his body is hit for 25 damage. Oh, that's what it always says. Okay, their, their body is hit, yeah. So we destroyed his armor, and then hit him, suffered a cut arm sinew, he broke him, and then also killed him. Everything about these dumb little dolls is fantastic. It's a lot. Okay, so I think we need to go here. And then... I don't want that. I don't think we want to knock back. I think we just want to thrust. So we, we did hit him, we just only dealt 6 damage. Oh, but we, we destroyed his armor. Okay. So that's good. His, uh, his body armor, anyway. Uh, okay. In turn. Alright, that guy hit us. What, he hit us again? What the fuck? Well, he also, he hit on all three, despite it being a 50% chance, so... It's like, what, a 12.5% chance to hit all three? Oh, he destroyed his helmet. Or his, well, his headscarf. Well, that's annoying. And then he destroyed his body armor. Well, that's rude. I say. Okay, your line of fire has been blocked. So we might need to go... Over here. How much does it cost to actually shoot? Two. How is Line of Fire still blocked here? Alright, whatever. Thank you. 
Okay, so the other guy did actually run away. He just left. He just fucking left. Alright, so you took a bunch of damage. Mostly armor damage, but... Bandages? Okay. Uh, oh, okay, found wood. So we want to take the axe, I guess. I assume we just want to take everything. Range drop and accuracy drops the distance. Alright. You're alive! You won. The adrenaline fades, and it's wake... In its wake, and you can't help but sink back to the ground. Gritting your teeth, you snap the arrow's shaft. Your chest heaves, pain for breath, and everything blurs. The company has been devastated, cut down to but a few men, and that bastard Hoggart did justice to his name, fleeing like the weasel he is. What now, Captain? The voice says from behind. It's Magnus who sits down beside you, betting his bloodied axe on his legs. You turn to him to reply. Before you can answer, he continues. Bernard's dead. They slit his throat. He was a good man and a damn good leader, but all it took was one mistake. It makes you the one now in charge now, doesn't it? Don't it? Whittled joins the two of you, still breathing heavily. Then Ferdinand, the wolf. Save the ceremony and anoint us for another day. Let's give the men a good burial and return to Eisenholz to collect our pay. The weasel's men are slain, after all. Besides, Captain, we ought to see that wound before we lose you, too. Wouldn't want to leave Whittled in charge, right? Did you just get some grain as loot? Because hell yes, more games need you to measure your success and pulses. I think we just got the axe. I think... Was that the other thing next to the bandages? I didn't actually have it once I realized that was our inventory. But it might have been grain. If it was, we already had it, though. It wasn't loot. Uh, okay. Return to Eisenholz to go... Oh boy. Look at this. Alright, so Eisenholz is there. Alright, so money. Pay off 45 per day. Food. Average man requires two provisions per day and more on difficult terrain. That's interesting. Men will eat the provisions close to expiring first. Sure. 50 provisions will last seven more days. Keep in mind that individual provisions will eventually turn bad. Tools and supplies. Uh, keep your weapons, armor, helmets, and shields in good condition. One point is required to repair 50 points of item condition. I have the supplies. Right. Which we did lose that guy's armor. And I'm guessing it's fully destroyed. If it's fully destroyed, I'm guessing you can't repair it. Ammunition. Okay, so that's just like a generic ammunition resource that replenishes all your ammo weapons. Medical supplies. Okay. For every injury, lost hit points heal on their own. Okay, I don't remember if we, we have not announced any addition. All these, so these have different flags for different like countries, or you know whatever nobles something. Our roster, uh, we do have grain. There are provisions. It was foil in six days. Uh, so here's Ferdinand the Wolf here. Clear this guy because he's the idea of health. Oh, we can repair it. That's interesting. Or it looks like we can repair it. Good. Mmm, <laughs> great.
make or break camp. On the camp time will go faster and your men will heal and repair their equipment at a faster rate. Okay. Factions and relations. Let's show that. Alright, yes. These are houses. House Eberlin. Safe on the waves. Okay. Relations. Uh, will the fighter deal peacefully with you? The willingness to hire you for contracts? Well, it's price they give you a number of recruits available to get their settlements. I increase from working successfully with four factions. Decrease failing to do so, betraying or attacking them. At least in this trend back toward neutral over time. House Horn are the merchants. Honesty and integrity. Uh huh, sure. House Winter Hall. Winter Hall is coming. Uh, this number of small have been put down with fire and sword. Winter Hall henchmen are known to have eyes in every shady corner. Windfest. Renown? We are unknown. And our reputation is neutral. Okay. Oh, these are actual characters. Counts and barons. Interesting. Ah, oh, duke. Alright, so we are going to go to Eisenholz. Can't uh, scroll on the edge of the map. I have to do it with this as far as I can tell. So we're actually okay. We're right there. Oh, so we, oh, okay. So there's there are little locations here. Search for the most precious and durable materials. Herbalist grove, medicinal plants, ruins. All right. Let's go here. Oh, okay, there we go. I said unpause. It's day one midday. Well, let's stop at the lumber camp. We like to talk to them. Oh, never mind. I guess not. Oh, okay. But a sorry display it must be for the onlookers as you arrive in Eisenholz. Four bloodied and beaten mercenaries down on their luck. The man who hired the company days ago, Eric of Eisenholz, no doubt expected you to return in a more glorious fashion. So, is our captain, the like our main character, is he not an actual character? Like, in terms of he doesn't show up on the battle? Or was that just because he was wounded for the tutorial? Still, he welcomes you to his house and offers bread and wine while a servant fetches a healer. Few words are exchanged except for the occasional grunt and wheeze as an elderly man with shaky hands tends to your wounds. A pin pierces your skin, the first of many stitches to come. You grit your teeth till you think you hear one break. Eric of Eisenhold sits beside you and asks if you took care of Hogger. You shake your head. We killed his men, but the weasel eluded our blades in the end. Healer waves around a glowing fire poke, suggesting he wants to push it into your wound. You nod, and he does so. For a moment, that's all there is. You're not a man, but a pinch of fire, flesh from flame, a golem of pain. Eric of Eisenholz hands you a goblet of wine. You did well, Sellsword. Brigands have been removed, though it is a shame that Hogrin still lives. But we do expect to get paid for this. Eric of Eisenholz gasps. I'm guessing a wound is going to mean you stay off the battlefield as a strategist? Yeah, that might be the case. Well, naturally! 400 crowns as agreed upon. He gestures toward a servant who rushes to your side with pay in hand. I wonder, may I make use of your services one more time? I'd very much like to end the headache that is Hoggard, once and for all. And I would pay you again, of course. Another 400 crowns, shall we say. Uh, hi Thursday. Uh, Fiona has not played this game. Um, well, yeah, not on stream at least. I, I don't think she's played it. Uh, Magnus scoffs and turns to drink more wine, but 
Ferdinand the Wolf stands to speak. Yes, the company is in ruin, but we will rebuild it. Without the militares sans frontieres. I, I can't speak French, actually, so that, that might be an issue. Uh, Magnus would drink the crowns away and end up begging on the streets. And we're told by the gods we all know he'd go chasing the woman folk until one stove his rotted, rotted head in. We need the militares sans frontieres. It's all we have. What say you, Captain? Magnus burps and raises his cup to you. Whittle playfully thumbs his nose and nods. Kill that bastard Hoggard or not. It's up to you, Captain. Well, I think we should be trying to cut, track him down and kill him. It's good for morale. That was a little more Spanish than I'm used to in my French, but your enthusiasm carried it. <laughs> if it's French, it's got to be like half those words unpronounced. Half the letters. I have heard it pronounced, too. I just don't remember. Eric Eisenhold claps his hand in satisfaction. Excellent! My little birds will need some time to find where Hogger is hiding. His hide now. In the meantime, I suggest you see about stocking up on supplies, so it should be good and ready to end this when the time comes. Well, I think the the accent should be in the frontieras, at least, is, or frontier or something. But let me let me look up a if there's a. the Metal Gear wiki have a... no. Oh, it says Milite... Milita San Frontier, which is weird. I don't know if that's correct. few days time at the latest. As you leave Eric of Eisenhold's house and stand on the outskirts of Eisenhold's, Ferdinand the Wolf seeks a word with you. We need more men, Captain. I know I give a big speech back there, but Rado won't do shite. We need more warm bodies in the ranks. Figure we find three good men, buy them some decent weapons, and dress them in the best armor we can afford. Men pa man pauses to glance around. I bet this Bodunk town's got a desperate peasant or two looking for a new life. Or we could travel to Jolbach in the northwest. Them city folk aren't always as hardy as the country bumpkins, but we're more likely to find men with fighting experience stopping to rest there. That's what we shall do. So is this supposed to be me? Well, I don't get to choose an avatar. Uh, okay, Eisenholz. A village living off of lumber and everything the forest offers. We have a marketplace. You can look at what we have to hire. This is all of our money. So yeah, we got our 400. Hit the marketplace. Okay. Lumber. I wonder if you can... <laughs> I'm assuming you can't, like, buy low, sell high. <laughs> it's just like a trader. Just like, ah, mercenary work is, is a little dangerous. What if I just, just roam around towns, between towns? Javelins. It's cool. Pitchfork. A hooked blade. Spear. Hatchet. A bludgeon. Wooded shield. A buckler. Hood. 
All right. I mean, we might want something like this because I don't think we really have a lot of. All right, here we go. Let's look here. As a butcher, Wigmar has spent years squishing his squishing guts out of dead rabbits and lopping heads off sometimes dead fish. Living in a city under siege, he provided meat for the hungry. I found out that where that meat came from. He was handed over to the besiegers, who unwittingly let him live. Many are disturbed by Wigmar's mere presence and all too wide eyes. Did he serve people? <laughs> Did he serve man? Okay. Harvard the Axe is a lumberjack, eyed by many a young woman for his good stature and strong hands. Alright. Butchers are used to bloodshed. Um, wow, he's expensive. Loved his collection of axes, having named every single one after a woman he once knew. Well, that's incredibly creepy. One fateful day, a tree fell, slew a deer. Havard did not want to waste it, and so took it home, only to find himself accused of poaching. Before a sentence was cast, he decided to leave the village in haste and attempt to join a traveling mercenary company. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely not a serial killer or anything. And yes, long pig. Yes, I think that's the impression, uh, or that's the implication. Uh, Grimald is a flagellant. Okay. Illiterate and born to poverty, found refuge in tales of the gods when war came to land. The gods will take part. A thaumaturge. Okay. Not into him, really. Enric is another lumberjack. I mean, the lumberjacks sound good, to be honest. But they're also the most expensive ones. Uh, a few men could swing an axe, and like he did, having a tree fall just like he wanted it. Over time, strange creatures began to appear in the woods. One villager after the other disappeared. Some moved away. After a long night with no sleep, he said it was time for him to leave as well. It was not even off of who's desperate to join a traveling mercenary company. Hendrick seems like the least important of this bunch. <laughs> um, yeah. He's also the most expensive. So if we try it out... Do you get the money back if you then hire him? That's what I'm confused about. He's also like three times as much to hire. Yeah. That's the issue. He seems like he's good. Also, if this is accurate, he already has armor. Can I buy a person on sale or return? <laughs> Look, if you're going to make me pay to see his traits, which is fine, I want to know whether that's included in the hiring fee or not. I think it's better, honestly, to hire, like, these two than just him. I'm just worried about spending all our money when we don't have any real jobs. It costs 14 daily. Pay out 45 crowns per day. That's right, we do. Yeah, we have to remember our ongoing costs as well. I really don't want this guy, but.
Can I now look at my... Okay. Can we find out what his traits are? He's in good spirit. Well, we didn't find out. What did he... Does he not have any traits? I mean, if he doesn't have any traits, that's fine. We did repair, so we did start repairing these. That's good. And he gained a bunch of his hit points back. Wait, why? Wait, never mind. He gained some of his hit points back. Alright, yeah. Because he's got... So he does start with his armor. That's good. And starts with that. That's good. So yeah, he starts with the same skills. Oops. Go down here. Uh, who do we want to hire? I don't think we need another. I don't know. I feel like we should try out some different characters. So maybe grab both of these guys. They just seem kind of terrible, though. I guess we could go over to the city like they talked about and see if there's anyone better. Uh, so that was Joel Bach. Recruit at least three more men. Buy weapons and armor for your men. Well, everyone's got weapons and armor so far, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, Whittle doesn't have a helmet, but he's not supposed to be getting into combat. Even though he does have good melee. We can't meet the caravans. Oh, okay. His uh, Joel Box skyline appears on the horizon. Whittled seeks a word with you. Never been to Joel Box before, but I've been around ones that look a lot like it. So he's like, these are great for selling goods. It's all these prissy, pompous pricks. Love to have their goods delivered. So many merchants, you can find almost everything you need, too. Keep an eye out for bargains. Don't get swindled by them cutthroat merchants. Get the awful cheap people. Uh, Magnus sees fit to add his own opinion on what you should do. If there's a good tavern, I say that's where we should go first. Nothing helps a man down on his luck more than a good pint. Gods knows we earned it. Whittle shakes his head. He say that every time we step into town. He say that even when you're already drunk. Heat pit. Use uh, fuel. Uh, okay, so we have a tavern. Already have a contract. We can only have one contract at a time. Disappearing villagers have been a uh, putting everyone on edge. Potential recruits would be found on the streets. People deal less favorably with strangers. There's also a temple. Interesting. Let's look at the marketplace. We have peat bricks to sell. They have smoked ham. And mushrooms. Some fish. Cured medicine. Like... Why does it spoil in 12? That seems very fast for, the, for preserved food. Beer. 
No fish, only grain. Added leather. It's damaged. Apron. That's nice. Higher. Oh, look at this guy. Uh, Robert is missing one eye, and the other wanders severely. He once killed a man, sure, but he deserved a better fate than the irreversible torture he received as punishment. To be honest, he'd rather hire a child, but apparently people look down on that, so here we are instead. Well, that's... interesting. Helfric. With perhaps misplaced pride, Helfric fashioned himself a man of the sewers. Oh, he's a rat catcher! Great! Wow, these people are even worse than the ones! <laughs> Which I guess it told us that the average city person would be worse, but there's a chance you might run into, like, soldiers. His father taught him the ways of snaring tiny rodents. Sing, 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 uh, six, dish up some rat soup, rat salad, rat kebab, rat bread, rat stew, rat chicken, rat wine. After a while, you stop listening. <laughs> God. Oh, I love rat catchers. Goswin, also a rat catcher. Catcher of rats. That's the title Goswin once preferred. Uh, well, this is like almost. Okay, there we go. Their mother. Uh, now speaks to perhaps graduated skills from rats to dogs, and maybe humans, so he says. He doesn't appear to know what he's in for, but perhaps it's best not to tell him. Okay, well, these are terrible. Uh, these are really bad. I think we need to get the, <laughs> the other guys. A larger settlement surrounded by foul swamps. I guess we can go to the tavern. Pay around for men to get their spirits up. Uh, patrons to get news and rumors. You like mushrooms? I hate them. Not much else to be found in the stinging swamps besides biting midges and spiders. Or we can go to the temple. You have no rooted in your ranks. It means you're rooted here. Okay. Well. Visit. Well, we did visit. This. Okay, well, we definitely did that. We just didn't do anything there. Um, is it closer to go anywhere else? No, it's not. All right, we're going back here then. go talk to them? I don't think so. I don't know how this works. We can't seem to interact with anything besides the towns. Oh. It's night time. Um, I don't suppose we can... Alright, let's hire you. Look what your stuff is. Decapitate. Sure. 
Oh, look at all of his stats. He is a hate for beasts. He's irrational. And... Okay, so that's, he's got a two-handed... Oh, because his weapon is a one-handed weapon. So we can actually use a shield. Which is probably a thing we want to get him. The apron's not terrible. It's nowhere near as good as that. Or that. Alright, and we'll need a helmet for him. And a shield. So, should we... I don't know if I really want to hire this guy. I guess he does... current 66 crowns per day it doesn't give us a lot of time but the last city was lumberjack city the city is a rat catcher city this is lumberjack village all right we're gonna get the really expensive guy that might be a mistake but so here he is Okay. Oh, he actually has worse clothes than the other guy does. Um, and he only has a hand axe. This guy has. This guy has a woodcutter's axe, which is too handy. Uh, okay. Let's see, his stats are. I hit points of fatigue. This guy's stats are melee defense and range defense. Oh, and also Let's get it. Resolve and initiative. Interesting. Okay. So we need, let's see here, shield, armor, helmet. Another shield. Maybe more armor. Two shields. Eisenholtz is pacing back and forth when you find him. A healer who damn near killed you with a fire poke standing nearby. He's picking chunks of dried blood out of his fingernails. Eric Eisenholtz claps his hands. Finally you're here! I have good news. You got a hold of one of Hoggart's former men. My good friend here had a little talk with the man. And now I know where Hoggart's licking his wounds. Healer clears his throat, displaying his fingers out like a maiden looking to paint them. He speaks as though he's identifying a disease he's about to excise. The brigand known as Hoggart is hiding in a small hut on the hills to the southeast of here. Based upon my most civil discussion with one of his men, Hoggart knows the military... What did we say? Milita... Milita San Frontier is on his heels and will have gathered more men since the last time you met him. Nodding, Eric of Eisenhold's waves you off. Good luck, Selsorg. A return with his head. Where did he get the... It's down there. Oh. Okay, well, I want to go back here first. I also want to quit people. This guy. Oh, it is expensive. Okay, that's 
No, 129. Sorry, I thought that was 29, because that would be worth it. Um, yeah, we cannot really afford those then. So, you'll just have to make do. Okay, travel to Hoggart's Refuge, kill Hoggart the Weasel. Alright, how much are we paying out per day? 80 crowns, yeah. Three more days of provisions. Yeah, we're gonna have to pay for more provisions. Ugh. We are spending a lot of money. To get started here. Maybe we should not have bought the expensive guys. But you know. A few brigand th thugs, a brigand poacher. Alright. Engage. Oh, look at that. Okay. Hello. Hoggard the Weasel. Got him. That's good. He's already ravering. He suffered a ripped ear. Oh, we hit his head. That's good. Oh, yeah, we almost killed him. That was good. Alright, here he comes. Here's our... this guy. Well, he missed. That's good. He uses aim shot and he missed. There's only a 31% chance on the aim shot. Oh, he actually made two shots. And he missed it. Oh no, it was two different guys? Maybe? I'm not sure. No, I think... Okay. So, this is Wigmar. Has a cleaver. Shield walling may be good and just waiting for them to come to us. Magnus here. Six. Yeah, because I can't actually get this guy. Takes too much to get to him. So... got to go still. Mm, oh yeah, he's not fully healed anyway. Then again, he still has more hit points than our new guys, some of our new guys.
I'm fine with you going backwards. You shield walling. You shield walling. And this guy just kind of taking a step back. Alright, you're back there. We're gonna wait. You're gonna wait. So you're probably no, you go up here and then wait. He's probably actually not gonna be able to get to anyone. Shouldn't have moved him back. Should have just let him there. I didn't think about it. Mm, what did he do? Shield wall. Okay. Hello. That's what I figured. 50% chance to hit that guy though, but I think we just try and kill this guy. Oh, we missed. Alright. I can't actually attack anyone here. again. Alright. He missed Wigmar. He did attack it. That's good. This guy. 4 AP. 4 AP. Okay, good. So now he can do this. You missed? Oh, 57% chance, and we rolled a 60. Just barely rolled over. All right, Ferdinand here. Seventy-three percent chance. All right, he did hit. Magnus here. Goodbye. Okay. What do we all do there? So Magnus killed the guy, obviously. Remember the axe. Hit him. Destroyed his armor. Dealt a bunch of damage to him. To the deep abdominal cut. guy. Oh, missed. Kind of want to move to like here and that should be okay. We should be able to shoot this guy. Yeah. Oh, we still missed. I'm gonna have to reload the next turn, but it's okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. My guy has not hit a shot yet. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. Okay, what just happened? I'm gonna go check this here. So, Hogger East Slash hits Havard. He didn't do a lot of damage hit point damage, but he hit his armor pretty hard. Poacher missed again. He, the thug then hit Havard and destroyed his armor. Gave him fractured ribs. He's breaking. And now he's fleeing after he gets hit again. Which, yeah, I mean, he got the shit kicked out of him, so... Alright, so this guy... Need to move here. Alright, good. 
good. Did hit him. Henrik. I mean, well, I guess you're moving there, but... Oh, we can't actually reach this guy. And now we don't have enough HP. AP. Uh, okay. I go up here. Alright, okay, you're over here. I basically want them to ignore him or try to get him out of there. Can you not go through here? Or you don't have enough HP? Oh, it costs more. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Um, I guess you can wait. We'll come back to you. Whittled. Let's reload and then shoot. Oh no! Fuck! Oh no! Okay, so Hargard killed Havard. Which, I mean, that's sad, but that's not that unlikely. And then the aim shot finally hit, and it just murdered him? It doesn't even say that he dealt damage! It's just he's dead! Oh my god, whittled! Um... What? I didn't know that that's how that worked. Okay, so there's like opportunity attacks. Okay, well, we might. He crushed his finger. Great. That's actually a lot of damage, though. We might be fucked. This guy couldn't actually move. Fuck. Oh, he missed. If there's any consolation, I've seen enough of Star Traders know it's, it's going to fuck me over when I try and stream that. <laughs> Got him. We did hit him. Alright, we hit him again.
Why can't we do this? Oh, because he has maximum fatigue. Oh, boy! Um... Right. Oh, the enemy retreats. No, that's fine. Well, actually, what does running them down do? Okay, it does just keep putting it, so that's what I was curious about. Oh, well, they left. Uh, is that it? They got away? Like... Uh, did they not? What? Where the- but they're gone! Oh... Okay, now they got away. Um... So yeah, Whittled's dead. Uh, huh? Gosh, maybe you should have held out and hired someone who knew one end of a sharpened stick from the other. I don't know if that was the problem. Hoggart lies dead in a pool of his own blood, skewered into a grotesque and panicked pose. Then weasels way out of this one. You put a boot on his corpse and look to your men. For the company. For all the men who've fallen. Wigmar spits on the dead man's face. Let's take the bastard's head and get back to Eisenholz. Well... That was bad. I think we can safely say. Well, eight more days, okay. Wigmar joins your side. Got a moment, Captain? He nod for him to speak his mind. Battles left some gear worse for wear, and some men got a good nickin' too. Yeah, a good nickin', that's all. You can patch up both men and equipment while marching, but it's a lot faster to sit down and do it. How do you. You literally joined less than a day ago. And then saw three men killed in front of you. Half the company. Of course, if we make camp, we should be wary of ambushes. Campfire in these parts can be seen from every which way. A good nickin' right the way through the neck. Yep. The company returns to Eisenholz as victors. Their heads held much higher this time. The milti... The miltier... Milit... It was like milti milita milita san frontier <laughs> something like that are not the size that they once were. I should look up how like a video of how it's pronounced, but they're still a force to be reckoned with. As Hogger learned in his final moments, he carries head in a sack that you empty in front of Eric Weisenhold's feet. Jumps back, but the healer quickly picks head up, stares at it, and nods. Eric of Eisenholz approaches the brigand's bloodied face and eyes it carefully. Yes, yes, that's his ugly mug, all right. Servants, pay this man his money. Coin in hand, you raise your voice to the men. As long as there's blood coursing through our veins, as long as we can hold sword and shield, there shall stand our company. All through the realm, people will know. <laughs> the the, the militia. Sen Frontia. The men cheer. Ferdinand the wolf puts his hand on your shoulder. You did well, Captain. No matter where you lead us, the men will follow you as brothers in battle. As brothers! Oh, we happy few. We band of brothers. Uh. God, everyone's fucking dead. Do you get to, like. Okay, I guess I can do this.
What's his thing now? Oh, he's loyal, right. It's somehow their morale is better than it was. Oh, he's got a weakened heart. Great. Also has exposed ribs currently. Uh huh. Uh huh. During camp, it falls to you as commander to see if the company succeeds, not just in the battlefield, but also in fame and riches. So you spend the evenings pondering about a bigger plan for the Milita San Frontia in your tent while the men talk and laugh around the fire. You're never going to become a legend simply way, chasing brigands during small time contracts. But you proclaim to the men of the company of the company will set out to do. Shall get the company's strength back to a dozen men. It will make us a formidable force again and will us take a more profitable work. We need allies. Forging a bond of friendship and trust with one of the towns will get the company better prices, more volunteers, and more steady work. Uh, I think we want this one. This is like our ambition. Yeah. I mean, we're going to obviously be heading towards both of these. It's supposed to be, you know, coming up with our city screen, but it's not. So this is just bugged right now. That's interesting. This comes up at least. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got a quit, save and quit, and reload, at least, to get this fixed, evidently. Or, well, I mean, I hope it fixes it, I don't know, but... There's, uh, also consideration of just restarting, you know, <laughs> we understand what we're doing, to some extent. Um, okay, we are here. Okay, there we go. So we go to the tavern. We do have some contracts. Negotiations. Well, we don't even get... Okay, interesting. We don't get, like, a little preview of what they are. A cowl-shooted man hisses at you, his teeth and nose weak momentarily from the dark of his hood. You have no time for lepers or jokers. Demand the men to get out of your way. So he starts talking. My master requires your services. He's heard of your exploits. Follow me and I shall take you to him. You rest your handle on the sword of, on the handle of, you rest your hands on the handle of your sword and nod. I'm all yours. Adelmar the merchant's got a few dogs at his feet, all tuckered out with their tongues lolling. He spent the past few days hunting for missing folks. Folks that are seemingly disappearing to the gods knows where. He leans down and pets one of the hounds, scratching it behind the ear. Usually a dog responds to that, but the poor thing barely even responds. Folks don't know what don't know what I know, though, which is that people aren't just disappearing. They're being taken. Horrible beasts are afoot, Silt Sword, and I need you to go after them. Hell, maybe you'll even find someone or two of the townsfolk, though I doubt it. One of the mutts lets out a long, tired wheeze, almost as if on cue. 
What's this worth to you? Takes a deep breath. Very well. I'm prepared to offer you 70 crowns in advance and another 290 when the job is done. Alright. We need to be paid more for this. Fine. I accept your offer. This reminds me actually a lot of immediately um, my point of reference is the negotiations in Uplink were a lot like this with this little menu with I think these exact options. Uh, hunt down what terrorizes Jolbach. Okay. Fine. We're going to need time. We're going to need to buy some more people. Also, we don't know what terrorizes Jolbach. Like, I mean, he says it's beasts. We don't know where the hell they are. So that seems like that could be... Maybe that's a problem. Like, what are we supposed to do? Just wander around? I mean, what I'm supposed to do is go get some new people, but... Alright, so we also have some levels. Well, at least this guy leveled up. Okay, an additional stacking plus each each check that misses an opponent. Lowers the threshold to inflict injuries by 33%. Hit points are increased by 28%, 25%. Okay. Uh, okay. Learn to move on difficult terrain. That's interesting. Student. Oh, interesting. Um, that seems good. That seems good. Let's get hit points. Yeah. Oh, he levels up again. Oh shit! He also does this. How's oh. Oh. Huh? Okay. Uh, oh, but he doesn't get a perk point. I'm confused. That's not how this works. I'll give him this. That's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy's all fucked up and permanently fucked up as well, which is not great. Yeah, he has such low HP due to his injuries. 
Uh, we'll heal in one to five days. Great. Just waiting for... Oh, hello. Okay, so they're down there. We're gonna hire some men. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. He's a cultist. Neither sweats nor shakes in heat or cold. He clutches a scroll as if it protects him from the very elements. Guess what it reads? Arnolf is also a cultist. And he has the same thing, but on a placard hanging from his neck. Great. Goswin is a rat catcher. Um, we can't really afford all of you. So we're gonna hire you guys. Uh, we're probably gonna need equipment. Stash, please. So, let's see here. Magnus probably needs the best armor. Which is, I think, that one. Well, it will be once it's repaired. You're gonna need a decent armor as well. So what do you guys got here? Hockey. Oh, great. You have very good melee defense and decent ranged skill, actually. Alright. That's fine, then. tiles. It's destroyed on use. So you're going to need an actual weapon. That's pretty effective. Oh, we actually got like a sword. So a shield. So you have the net. I don't have any stats, but that's fine. You're just kind of fine. It's actually sword's not actually very good. I guess the thing is, it takes less. Uh, yeah, it's best suited for cutting on armed opponents, which is what it says. Um, so you're okay, you're done, I guess. chance to head, so otherwise not great. Uh, we're gonna take the, the net out, sorry buddy. Uh, you're gonna get this, you're gonna get this, and you're gonna get a shield. So congrats.
Well, okay, got good armor. Oh yeah, does he have any ammo? No, he doesn't have ammo. Doesn't he need ammo? I think he needs ammo. He needs bolts, and we don't have any bolts. spend some time to to heal I don't really need to heal unless we can heal that guy maybe some stuff to repair but Permanently fucked up with his heart. So. Oh, this guy's too expensive to buy. Let's just, you know. Okay. Peasant hacking firewood strings up before you. By the gods, it is nice to see you, sirs. Thought I heard word of some self sword stomping around looking for the beast terrorizing these parts. He asked if he's seen anything that might help. Pitches his hands over the pommel of his ass. Can't say that I have, no. But I've heard some things. I know a man and a woman not far from here got taken. Well, they disappeared together. Word has it they're dead in the woods now. Barnacled up in the trees, hanging loosely by the gut, you know? Oh, wait, maybe they've just gone off on their feet seas to shack up together. Hell, hell. That gal hated her father, and the kid is just nobody with a flair, good looks, and a charming tongue. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Careful, there's several lumberjacks of a short life expectancy in these parts. <laughs> Pause and the glance at you. Anyway, I'm certain there's monsters are afoot. Keep an eye out, Soul Sword. Well, we have these handy tracks. So. Oh god. Oh, I don't know if that's. Well, I guess it's a thing. I think we're being attacked by dire wolves. Three of them. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Arnulf. So a dire wolf. We don't know anything about dire wolves. Can't shoot them. Well, it's still Goswin is this guy. Okay. Hey, why can't we go here? Oh, it blocks movement and line of sight. Okay. Well, that's... No, we don't want that. We don't really want any of this, to be honest. Oh yeah, he's basically fucked. Like, I'm kind of amazed he's still here. Fuck. There's no fucking withdraw. That sucks. Okay, they're actually 
not doing that much. Yep. He, uh, he cannot use his, his thing. Oh, fuck me. did hit it and we dealt damage to its Bye, Ferdinand, the wolf. We're so fucked. They get three attacks per turn. This is, a, this is a learning stream about how not to do this. Uh... Oh god, he's at max fatigue. Yeah, they're like all at max fatigue. Dead too. Oh my. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Well. Literally out of my control now. Uh huh. All right. Well, lessons learned. Is the achievement name, by the way. It's worried not going for Iron Man is going to be things less dramatic. We're learning. We're learning. Maybe we should do beginner difficulty. It's just like, uh, you know, I've played tactical. I've played XCOM. I've played tactical games before. Skeletons are highly resistant to range attacks. Great. Good.
Whoops. Please wait for the program to respond. Um, well, we might have to just restart. It's supposed to be running in, uh, window, portals window, but uh, did it create our, well, no. Also, why can, why can you load this? Oh, well, that's interesting. I think we still want to quit. Select to the main menu. But that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, what the? That's a nice haircut. Not one eye. Oh, not Captain Bernhard. Oh, look at that guy go. Sigmund, Eugen, and Hartsbird. Oh, so these guys are actually randomized. I didn't realize starting guys. I guess that makes sense. They're still randomized. Oh, well. That helps.
interesting that your own guys do not count. Well, I mean, that was <laughs> vastly easier. Uh, okay. I'm not sure how to feel about this. Yep. Alright, so let's look at our guys. Do they have any... Sacrifice family's heirloom. He saved your life. Fearless. Dumb. Uh -huh. Death wish. No morale check triggered upon losing hit points. Okay. But he's a bleeder. Okay. What is this? 35. Okay, so that's not going anywhere. Yeah, the spear's not very great against damage, but it gives you the spear wall. So. Uh, well, yeah, and we're in a different, completely different spot. The map's completely different. Oh, interesting. And the factions are different. Uh, all obituaries. I didn't realize that was there. Okay. Lavish lifestyle and Bacchanal festivities. Cunning bargains. Based on bribery, extortion, and deception. Yeah, I didn't know how much was randomized, but basically a lot. Orchards, wheat fields. What are these? So these affect what's in the town. Who hired us this time? Alvar of Wiesendorf. Alright, so we need to hire some men. Oh, look at this. There's There's men. Torbjorn, who's a vagabond. Helmer is a farmhand. Helmer knows a couple kinds of hoes. All of which the farmhand could sweet and cook by these. Carn fed and barn bred. <laughs> Gebhard the Calm. His face was irre irreversibly damaged as a hellacious attack by raiders left men castrated, women raped, and children skewered on spits. Wow. Meinholf the Miller. Realized his mill had been ignited by a lightning strike. He would sign up with a mercenary company. Okay. Ah, Knut. Okay. Knut. Knut took a mule kick to the face. Its foot broken. They had to put the animal down. Jesus. Hi, Fiona. How was magic? How's your streaming setup? I hope, trust everything's working. I mean, I do really want these farmers to be good, but they're also obviously the most expensive. Let's 
test with success, so ranked up in magic and beat up Bill and Diamond. Well, that's good. I don't know if I want the 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 Vagabond. I feel like I want the Miller more than the Vagabond. Vagabond, but is a bad matchup for you. <laughs> uh-huh. So, uh, we're, we're just at the start of this game, Fiona. So, lucky you. Uh, because I died. I, I wiped out. <laughs> well, so we're a mercenary company that just got wiped out. Um, like, the start of the game is everyone but three of your people are dead. Um... And we're on an initial revenge quest. And, uh, yeah, I started... It's, like, easy, medium, hard are the difficulties. And, you know, it's, like, medium is, like, if you're used to tactical games. So I was, like... Or it's, like, for veterans of the game or of the genre. And I was, like, oh, well, I'm a veteran of the genre. This'll be fine. <laughs> and we got destroyed. <laughs> um, so, uh... I mean, you know, in the course of, like, two hours, but, uh, yeah. So we're starting on easy now to, uh, and restarting. But we are an Iron Man still, so he was killed by... It was a dire wolf, Daimon! It was three dire wolves! I didn't actually know that there were monsters in this game until I started playing it, so... Um, I'm gonna hire the Miller. I like the Miller. He is an old man, kind of, though, is what he looks like, but... Um, okay, so we need to look at our roster and see... We probably need to equip these guys. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, oh yeah, traits. He's impatient. That's interesting. He's a bleeder. That's fine. Um... Yeah, this is fairly new. This guy does not have any traits. This guy is dumb, which is not great. And he's faint-hearted, which is also pretty bad, actually. Helmer. Hi, Dio. Are you going to come up and sit with me, or are you just going to, like, climb on the blanket and my feet? Come on. Come up here. Yeah, it was an early access. So the full release is is relatively recent, I guess. Come on, Dio. Don't do that. Yeah, if you want to come up here, come up here. Mwah. Um, okay, so nobody has nobody comes with any equipment. That's the downside of these guys. I mean, I guess they have pitchforks, but those are actually not bad. They're not great. They have a range of two tiles as well. I can work with that. This guy has literally no weapons, so that's why he's cheap. Um, okay, melee defense. Health, melee, range defense, and melee skill. Wow, ranged skill. Okay, so we need to get this guy a ranged weapon. That's cool. We have not seen anyone with three stars, I don't think. Um, for now, though... Well, should so that when we then swap this guy, because this guy's got... You're building a wee town. No, we're not building a town. We're building a mercenary company. The towns, there are towns all over the map that we can hire people from. Or interact with, you know, we can buy stuff from them and do missions for them. Um, but we do not have a control of town. Um, we are an army without borders. We're soldiers without borders. Uh, so I think, let me look at like... Well, this guy does have better range right now. That guy actually is... Good. Okay, so yeah, for right now we're going to equip this guy with melee, but we'll swap him later. He 
he needs some high all back. The biggest and baddest set of dudes for hire. Yes. You got us actually set an ambition after a little bit after the start. Uh, um, of what your kind of goal is. But like our goal was just like get 12 men as our initial goal. And then you'll get more. I assume you get bigger goals as you go that you can set. So okay. We need a helmet for this guy. We need armor for these guys. That isn't terrible. A helmet. So we need two helmets. And like two pieces of armor if we can get that. Um, okay. Well, these are both the same. Uh, they don't have any armor. But we could buy some shitty helmets. Why is this cost more than this? Alright, well, we're buying this. We can sell that. Switch back to my computer because typing on the phone is dumb, but Unreal is building so stream hitches. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait till you just see the little men running around in combat. It's so good. I got overexcited. Unreal is a, it's a big deal. Wow. Is this just a better, the Hooked Blade is just a better version of the Pitchfork? It is a way better version. It's also way more expensive. Oh, a Scramasax. Interesting. Um, Bundle of Javelins. That's cool, too. Uh, so, yeah, we do want another helmet, though. I guess we're going to get this, maybe. So you can't build a town, but can you build up your Wii hideout? No, I don't think we have any, like, camp or anything. Or, I mean, like, a like a permanent one that we build stuff for. Uh, we can't get armor, because I don't have any armor. Not every game has to have a kingdom building in a game. Yeah, no mother base, sadly, for for Mil Milite San Frontier. I just want my weed fighting man to have somewhere to sleep good. Yeah, we do not. Not every game to be New no Kuni too, which is fair. <laughs> I mean, I would be fine with that too. Oh, so these guys now have a temple. Our starting town didn't have a temple last time. Uh, okay, so we need to visit Wiesendotstadt. Or, rather, Weissenstadt, sorry. So we started in Wiesendorf, now we're going to Weissenstadt. Yeah, so this is what the map looks like, the world map. Milite San Frontier. Uh, I read all this last time, so... I mean, it's a little... It's different because the towns and the people involved are, are procedurally, like, named, but... The text is the same. Oh, this place looks bigger. Oh, because there's a harbor. And a barber! What?! Oh, you can sail to other places. That's cool. Uh, okay, that's mainly what you do there. That's cool. The barber. Oh my god. Holy shit. Uh, this is free. Okay. Well, you need to dye your hair so you're not, like, an old man, maybe. I mean, I don't really want to mess with their appearances. I'm just amazed that you can do this. Oh, that's how I was saying it. It's Militaire Sans Frontier. Okay. 
Is it? Did you? I mean, I tried to look at the pronunciation, and I was like, mm, I don't know if this is correct. Uh, do they have better shit that I could buy? These are the same. That's a better hat. It's also more expensive. They do have armor we could buy, which we should probably buy. Okay, so the padded surcoat is 116. Probably want one of those. Honestly, we should probably buy the padded leather too. Not frontier, frontier. Okay, just frontier. That just seems so wrong, especially with the accent on it. Like, why is there an accent in it if they don't want you to pronounce both things? Okay, I need to check my slack. Uh, oh, oh, I saw this guy. Shark to crab. <laughs> the fish octopus crab. French in it. Yeah, but... Fucking spelling. All right, so we got some armor for our new new recruits. Well, we're probably gonna upgrade our current recruits into good armor. For this guy. That we can up that guy can hang back there. Mm. This guy's a shield, so he doesn't need as good armor. Oh that guy's bad, so he gets the worst armor. Alright, we're good. Is this Switzerland? Uh it's at least Germany? You know, or a German-speaking region based on the names. Um, I mean, Switzerland is is you know famously landlocked, so I don't think it's Switzerland based on the large body of water. But I hope we don't just steamroll this fight since we got. We put it down to easy and we got destroyed last time. I mean, we did survive this fight last time, but we lost half of our people. Thought there was French shit. Uh, the French shit is my company's name, which was my choice. I know how to pronounce the German shit. Uh... Switzerland is the land of a thousand lakes. We needed to name a mercenary company. So I named it after, you know, the best mercenary company there is. Uh, okay, so we gotta go here. Now you are an invading force. We're, we are soldiers without borders. <laughs> We're just gonna call, I'm just gonna read it as MSF from now on. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to say it. <laughs> Hi guys. So there's our, nope, where's our guy? Oh, he's not. We can't even see him. Okay. So, Minolf, who's our, I think, our Miller. Oh, there he is. He's hiding back there. The weasel. He's the guy who killed most of our men. Okay. but that's fine. Oh, here goes the weasel. MSF, actually. What? What did I say? Uh, 
okay. Look at the little pudding men. Yeah, these guys are, are very silly. Dio, what are you doing? It's a Metal Gear thing. Yes, it's it's Big Boss's mercenary company. <laughs> The army without a country. Thought it was a joke about the actual MSF. I mean, it is a joke about the actual MSF. Like, that's what it's named after. Like, right? That's what it's named after. Kojima made the joke, so it's terrible. <laughs> Hideo Kojima does not joke. So it does have a range of two. Oh yeah, which actually means we can get behind our shield wall. Which is something we should do. Alright, we hit the shield. That's fine. Knut. Wow, I missed by 70% chance. Yeah. What's that? Alright, you missed. Everyone's just kind of missing. Uh, he used shield wall, it's fine. Quick shot and hit. My archer, that sucks. Oh, that's also not great. Flail. Lash. Does he have a shield? What is do good about these men's moving? They need tiny little feet. Supposed to melee damage granted by shields. Oh, well, they don't have any armor on their head. He doesn't, so. Shield walling and stabbing this poor guy. Oh yeah, we do have a shield. What if we just do this? And break your shield. We did destroy his shield. Well, that's good. So those are, uh, what do you call it, 
Opportunity attacks. Where are your mercenary ladies? Yeah, I don't think there are any women, unfortunately, as far as I have seen. Okay, we missed, which is kind of what I expected. The problem is there's opportunity to actually try and run away. So I can't really run. He's probably just gonna hit me. Uh, can I sh knock this guy back? Okay, good. Stop hitting my archer! So this is like a D&D polearm. There's a penalty to hit adjacent targets. like move you over here or like actually can we move you down here so that the archer doesn't have line of sight to you Uh, he has more action points, but he's at max fatigue, so he can't actually take more actions. Fuck you! Oh, we got... What did he do? Uh... Uh... Oh, he tried to run away. I think is what happened. It doesn't actually say, but I'm pretty sure what happened is he tried to run away and he provoked opportunity attacks from everyone. And then they fucking murdered him. chance to hit and that too missed of course and that missed 65% chance all these chances are missing Still don't have the fatigue to actually. Oh shit, I was actually just tagging from one distance away, I forgot. Alright. Please. Oh good, we got him. Uh, 
uh, you're fine there. You're fine there. That's fine. How is this guy not running away? I'm kind of impressed. So yeah, we haven't lost anyone, so this is a lot better than it was. Last time. Oh, he's trying to run away. Run them down. We'll try. I think they'll still get away, but... Like, I think there's literally a range limit, so it's just not possible. Ah. These wee men make me think of matey bubbles! a good uh, referent. Alright, look at all that. Oh man, almost everyone got a kill. Look at you, and the damage is pretty well distributed. Loot. Please take all the loot. Uh, especially those arrows, that's good. And a bow, that's good. These are not particularly useful, but... Tools, crowns, fruits, that's all good. Cloth, that's something we can sell. Good. Alright. Yeah! Uh, I want to go... Okay, so... Yeah, this guy's gonna... Once we level up, he's gonna get some... He's gonna be a good ranged attacker, which we'll use the bow and the quiver for. I think, but... I wish we could have, like, battle lines. Oh, maybe we can have battle lines. Like that. I don't know if that actually, like, does something. Uh, so this is 40, so this is better for someone. that. I do want this repaired. I don't really care about these. Hi, Thursday. Belly full of Thai food and a glass of bourbon. That's exciting. Uh, so you got an injured shoulder. You got a split nose. You got nothing. You're just injured. Just injured. Okay. Okay, good night, Fiona. Uh, okay, so we need to go back to Vicent Dorf. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. Of 
keep it in mind. Uh, I mean, how... The idea of these guys literally just turn into naked chests is really funny. Oh, that's only 35. Oh shit, I should put one of these up there. I didn't realize that he was getting a oh, because Arts Company. Hi. Hired by Crumb Harrowing. Ah. Interesting. Gained 400 crowns. Yep. We got our reward. Uh, so we could pay for this, but I don't think we really need to. Marketplace, so we could sell these. That's probably a good idea. How much is it worth? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Oh, there is a contract. Okay. Well, let's go get the contract. There have been ambush trade routes. Okay. Fritz the steward is shaking when you greet him. He's practically frothing with anger, or maybe he's just really drunk. Citizens of this fine town are starving. Why? Because brigands keep sneaking in during the night to raid the granaries. And if we catch them, they burn the buildings down. Now we can't defend ourselves by sitting back. Now, I want to defend myself by killing them all. The man tears for a moment as he's about to spill himself across his desk. He stays for continuing. I want you to go kill these vagrants, obviously. All you have to do is be interested and name your price. You'll be paid 90 crowns in advance and another 360 when the job is done. You need to be paid more. Do want to heal? Hmm. How is okay? How is everyone doing? I guess that's a good question. Let me look. You need some health. You need some health. Okay. One to four days. Two to four days. Okay. Let's camp here. Camped on top of the town. supposed to heal us faster. Okay, that guy's healed. Yeah, I think it's... Our equipment looks like it's also doing alright. Oh, this guy doesn't have a helmet. His helmet. Oh, because I... I replaced these guys. During camp, 
feel good today, ready to lead the MSF through any challenge to come. We gather the men around, kicking Yuga into his feet, and telling Helmer to finish scraping the hairs on his neck later. When their mutter gets subsided, you start to address them. What do you tell the men of the company? The company will do. Let's get it back to a dozen men. Seems like a good plan still. Uh, the other one that you can do is to try to gain friendship with a town. Which I imagine is a little interesting. A few billmen, a few arbalesters. Just professional soldiers that serve to local lords. Local lords. Uh, okay, how's our, how's our guys doing here? Still injured, but fully healed. Okay, maybe we just pay to get rid of our injuries then. So where's our... There it is. Drive off the brigands. Alright. Let's try to see if this is, goes better than last time. Who knows? Maybe it won't. Maybe I need more people. Some brigand thugs. Okay, that sounds fine. Nice bear pelt. Seems a bit unnecessary. Okay. Oh, okay. So this does affect our starting formation. <laughs> Good to know. Alright, well, we want to get the high ground. Hi. Alright. Good night, Daimon. Thank you again. Uh, let me probably get up to, up to here. Right. our range? Six tiles on even ground. Okay. Yeah, if we go one forward, we can shoot. Height advantage, yes, there is. Oh, hi. Wow, you really got up there. I'm gonna wait. You're gonna step up to here. Need to step up and stab that guy, but uh, that's not uh, that's not a thing anymore. <laughs> oh, good! That was really good. We hit him in the head.
we have a height disadvantage here, but... Stunned us. Use knockout. Interesting. Interesting thing. Uh, so we want to hit this guy with this. He doesn't have any head armor. <laughs> yep. That's uh, that's good. That's pretty ideal. This guy is wavering. Pierced hand and he is breaking. It's great. Oh, we hit his shield. Sadly. Step back. Whoa! Hey, buddy! No need for that. Is a, you have a stab and a puncture. Completely ignores armor. But has a much lower chance to hit. 38% chance to hit. Doesn't inflict a lot of damage to ignore arm, to armor. This guy's got a lot of armor, unfortunately. So I think we have to stab him. Or puncture him. Ah! Hey! You hit! Well, that's cool. Plus six HP to use a pitchfork. That's right. Oh shit! I forgot the pitchfork is uh, two distance. It's supposed to be used for two distance away, so I should just stab the guy where he was. And I tried shoving him away. Can, but I missed. Alright, he's got the height advantage. Who else is. Oh, this guy's bad. Okay. Does this guy have a shield? He does have a shield. We just break his shield. That's good. Um, I also think... Well, I can't move because he's adjacent to me. Is that an opportunity to attack? You, okay. Really? Missed the 83% chance. Okay, try it again. There we go. Now he's fleeing and near death. Uh, you. Four attack. Yes, that's fine. We hit him. Oh no! Hit him again! Thug used cleave and hits him. Destroyed his armor and hurt him by a bit. Oh, that's against our archer. Yeah. Uh, then he's hard for to use thrust. Why did he act on his own? Or did the guy? Oh, the guy probably tried to run away, and that's what happened. Hit him again! Oh, you missed. That's fine. Uh, used lash and missed. That's good. Uh, you're, oh, you're down here. Okay. So you want to go, like, over here. But we can't go there. Alright. Uh, oh, plus 6 AP to do that. Missed. 
your body and oh god you're almost dead that's a problem isn't it why won't you run away Hey, you did it, buddy. Okay, you got hurt real bad. But. You got exposed ribs. Okay. Loot. Ooh. Ooh, those are good. Bludgeon. Is. Not very good. But I guess it gives you special options. You get some tools, some ammunition, a little bit of medicine, a bunch of crowns, brains. That's good. Those are all good. All right. A man is left behind after the battle. He's not a brigand, but in fact a prisoner. You ask who he is, he mentions that he is from Eulenkrug and that he's looking for work. You ask if he can wield a sword. He nods. I mean, I guess, sure. Prisoner grins from ear to ear as you wave him in. A few brothers ask what weapons they should give him, but you shrug and figure you'll see to yourself what to arm the men with. Okay. What, uh, here's our new guy. Elmer! Aw, Elmer. Elmer became a harm hand to feed his dozen kids and two wives that he now has no interest in going back to. If men were trees, Elmer would never fall down, or something gracious like that. Uh, he has some slight skill in range. In range defense. High initiative, so we'll be getting him a bow, a ranged weapon eventually. But for right now, he gets... So what does a cleaver have? As, uh, as options, the cleave and the decapitate. I don't really care about the decapitate. The flail has, yeah, those, which I think are good. Those are the same options. Where's that bludgeon? This has bash, so basic. But it also has knockout, which has a 75% chance to stun on a hit, which that's pretty cool. It kind of sucks other than that. But that's pretty cool. Uh, we don't have a thing for him, but... So what are these? These are better. Are these even better than what he has? These are better than what he has. But not as good as what he has. Well, um, put that back. Uh -huh. And a bunch of these guys get to level up, so that's good. Um, Minolf get to level up. All right, we're going to level up your that. Level up your initiative, probably. Probably your resolve, actually. I don't know. As, uh, if we're gonna make you a ranged guy, you don't actually need the hit points or the melee skill. That's the thing. Well, let's. I don't know, like, I don't know what the average initiative is. It's 101 on our. Yeah. I thought that it was generally higher on 
the range, guys, for whatever reason. I don't really need fatigue. Resolve would be the only thing that I need. Our range defense, I guess. Let's run through that. He needs a shield. Well, that's what we got for him now. Um, you get a level up, Heartbert. Yeah, you do need... Well, he doesn't need spears so much. But maybe we give him the flail then, because the flail takes a lot. I just put Hartford. This is Hartford. Oh, he has perks. Okay, that's right. This guy. Yeah, let's get our melee. Resolve. I guess resolve is good. Melee defense is also good. Sigmund. Increase that, please. Is that, I guess, and yeah, range defense. And the Miller has already leveled up. Okay, so now we get some perks. Um, recover? I think we want that if we're going to equip him with stamina. Or the flail, rather. Okay. We need to take this so we can give him that. Uh, who has one of those right now? You do. Which is at 90%. Jin, that is our big ass dude. He probably needs hit points or crippling strikes. Might honestly, maybe he needs crippling strikes, but I feel like he needs hit points more than that. Because he's not going to be using a shield. So. Our archer. Crossbowman, rather. I don't know what he needs. I guess just crippling strikes. And this guy is also going to be an archer. Oh, they're injured for this stuff that they're treated. It just makes them go faster, I guess. All about the same, to be honest. Oh, 
Oh yeah, what happened to the... Didn't I have another guy with a shield? Oh, I do, so I can... Use that, okay. Uh, and I probably equip this guy yeah, like this. Like that, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So, let's return to Biesendorf, wherever we are. Oh, and then you can't turn and move it around if you do that, which is kind of weird. Alright, Biesendorf no longer has ambush trade routes. Fritz the steward leans back in his chair, folding his hands over his lap. Cell swords don't sit right with many folks. I suppose on account of y'all killing and destroying old villages on a short-chained whim. But I'll admit, you done good! Now it's the corner of the room where a wooden chest lays unopened. It's all there, but I won't be offended if you need to count it. You do count it, and it is indeed all there. Alright. We did it. Uh, let's get this treated. Let's see. Do we need to buy any of this? Or sell any of this? So. Oh, 30 provisions will last us two more days at most. Wow. Because we need 14 prisons. Wow, I didn't realize we have that. You. Okay. Um. Hmm. So we have seven men. Let's look at what we can hire. Oh, okay. More people. A rat catcher. Vagabond. So we could also actually afford to try people out now. Hire the Miller. <laughs> he doesn't have a weapon, but I guess most of these people don't have weapons. I don't know that we even have good weapons to give anyone. Eh, flail's fine. Um, he has a millstone. Mm. Try out the miller. has nothing. This guy is a pessimist. Well, we don't want to hire him. What about this guy? He's fragile, that seems bad. He's determined. The rat catcher? He's a pessimist and a dastard. Oh, okay. Well, we're not hiring him. He has none. Okay. Well, honestly, we could hire the Miller. do need to get some provisions. Okay. We need to buy 
Is there any more contracts here? There are no contracts here. Underused word, dastard. Oh, if you're dastardly, that's what... survive then maybe it'll do well I guess we should probably give these to someone Should we go? What's close? Vision stock or Vision stock is close. Let's go over there, I guess. We're gonna need to. So we need to get a contract. And when we get a contract, we need to buy some provisions to last us. Contracts. A servant bids you wait for Bodo the merchant, who, he says, will be right with you. And so you wait, and wait, and wait. Finally... Also, what does these skulls mean? There was one there before. Does this mean, like, the difficulty of the mission? Uh... And finally, as you're about to leave the second time, Bodo the merchant throws open the doors and rushes towards you. Who's this again? The mercenary? His assistant nods, and Bodo the merchant says on a smile, Oh, most fortuitous to have you in Weissenstadt, good captain. It is imperative that some precious commodities of mine reach Ochsenhausen as safely and quickly as possible. You are precisely what I need. No common brigand would dare attack you and your men. Yes, I'd like to hire you for escort. Make sure the items are delivered to Reinhardt, the Burgomeister. No detours, of course. Can we come to an understanding? Uh, yeah, that's fine, escort. Let's talk money. You'll get 316... 360 crowns when the contract is done. We need payment in advance. If you take this instead, you'll be paid 70 crowns in advance and another 270 when the job is done. That's actually less total so I guess that's the ah I see <laughs> shit <laughs> whoops okay understood photo the merchant I've been contracted by some to deliver some particular cargo to Wiesendorf. Oh, well, that's... Yeah, that's really close. We need to be paid per head we arrive with. Oh. Pay 10 crowns in advance, 2 crowns you... 2 times 20 is 40. And another 90. Okay. Escort caravan provisions for the way it provided. That's good. I have no idea how this works. Um. that amber shard smoked ham some good shit roots and berries dried fish ground grains goat cheese well, we can how much food do we need per day we need 18 okay so that's like a day's worth
lot of money to feed people. Whoops. Please? Oh, we are with the trading caravan, I guess. Oh, paid for every head of an attacker? Oh, shit. Oh, okay, fine. Whew. I was, I was, I thought it was like, I thought we were herding, like, you know, like, guarding, like, cattle or something, and it was per things that survived. It was like, as long as everything survives, we get full payment. I misunderstood. While well, the company takes a short rest, sit down to examine the wound where an arrow punctured side long ago. It's been healing slowly. It still aches. You move too quickly, but things are getting better. Heartburn joins you. Seeing the opportunity to talk to Captain. That's why this yet. Nobody knows about the MSF yet. You don't want to hurt ragtag, hunt ragtag bags of prisons. Okay. Uh, we'll have to make a name for ourselves first. Reliable sorts for hire, then get things done before the noble house take notice. They'll want to use this co uh, use the company for far better paying tasks, I'm sure. Uh, just as we both continue, just we keep in mind that high lords are playing a dangerous game. We don't want to get on their bad side. There's enough stories of people who cross them only end up quartered and fed to pigs, and they have the means to squish even a company of cell swords. Guildmasters and councilmen running the villages and towns too have good memory. To depend on them to hire the company for now, but having some influential friends may also help us to get better deals with merchants. Alright. Well, shit. We did make real much money off that. Because I didn't understand the contract. And there remains no, uh... Right. Well, that was a good way to, to to make some money, though, while we worked off people's injuries. Yeah, he's still got that getting healed. But... Okay. Um, I'm gonna end here. I'm gonna save. Well, I guess you just got yeah, Iron Man, so. Okay, well, I mean, the game is much easier on easy. What did we think? Uh, you know, what do you know? Um, but uh, it's still fun. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's not too easy because veteran was kind of brutal to start off with. But um, yeah, we'll be back uh, next Tuesday with more of this. God, I just realized I forgot to update the schedule image again. So it still says Dishonored, but um, I'll be gone tomorrow, but I should be back Thursday with Far Cry. Yeah, schedule images not updated. I gotta do that. Um, I should do that after this. Um, yeah, the schedule also below the stream, which I also need to update. Uh, you can follow for under notifications when I go live. You can sub for emotes of my cats. Um, we had Rosa on stream tonight. Oh, there was... Oh, man. I don't... It was the... Yeah, they were both on stream at the end. I didn't actually realize it. Oh, cuties. Yeah, it's getting cold. It got cold again. Um, so I think they're, they're cuddling together. Um, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out and chatting. It's fun for me. I was fun for you. And uh, hope that you join me again in the future. Good night.
Until we meet again.